Donny Reynolds, another three points. Backed up last week's point against Gil, uh, against Chelsea quite well today. Um, important to pick up the three points. Yeah, um, yeah, good steady rise. Uh, played against a Hawley side that expected a little bit more, to be honest. Um, but nevertheless, they're there to be beaten. Beat them, so yeah, happy with the three points. If you look at our first half performance, safe to say it was pretty shocking. Um, the goal we conceded was a poor goal. I think mm. was it. Craig and Matt Tan and tackled each other in the middle of the park. Their lads let through on goal. Ollie will probably be disappointed with the with the effort for the save. And it it was just a generally disappointing performance. Yeah, we started. I wouldn't say we started brightly. I think we started poor, to be honest with you. Um, the cracks were covered by Day was very poor, and the only way I think after about twenty minutes. You know, we said, you know, the only thing they've got in them sort of thing is like feeding off the scraps, which is what they've done. So to be fair to them, their game plan, if it was one, worked for the first 20 minutes. But, you know, it was a very poor start. Not not pleased with that at all. We needed something to, to get us back into the game. Slightly contentious penalty, do you think? Or what was your view on that? I think the first, Oli, about 10 minutes before that, Oli had had a, I think it was a stonewall penalty the first time. The second time, I think the referee evened it up it. It's dubious to be the say the least, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, for me, it was one of those incidents that if you get it, you're over the moon. If it goes against you, you're furious. Yeah, yeah. If that would have been on the receiver side of that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been happy with that at all. But it was probably a challenge that the lad didn't need to make. Ollie's touch of taking him away from goal. Ollie had and beat him a couple of times prior to that and scared the life out of him. So it was rash. And like I said before, when uh, the guy challenged him, it was a stonewall penny which the referee let go, so I do feel that he evened up, tried to even up a little bit. Okay. Second half, it was a much more positive performance. Um, Josh obviously finished off a nice little move with Phil to make it 2-1. And then we had Ben Senior coming up from the under-23s, I think he's only 18. Scores his first goal for the club, that must yeah. have been pleasing. Yeah, very pleased for Ben. Um, yeah, I, th- I think second half we started to realise there was a lot of space in the middle. They, they, wasn't, they didn't want to play any football, they just... I don't know what they come to do, to be honest, but they didn't play football through the middle. So once we started to get the ball down and calm down a little bit, space started to open up. Ben getting his first goal over the moon from I think that's excellent. Um, you know, coming up through the ranks and now he scored his first goal at 18. That's brilliant for him. So yeah, I think, the world good. I think it's a, it's a massive boost sort of for the whole of the under-23s yeah. to see that you get a player who will be given chances. So yeah. they're youngsters, they will get chances in the first team. They will come and sit A on the bench and then get a few minutes. And obviously for Ben today, he notched the, well, it was the all-important sort of clinching yeah, goal, wasn't it? So, goal, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it shows the club as a whole, it's not gimmicky. You know, you don't put players in there or bring them, you know, come through the ranks and then they sit on the bench and never get a game or anything like that. You know, these players, they're coming through thick and fast and they're scoring in important league games. So, you know, very, in that side of things, very pleased for the club as a whole. Okay. Overall, a win's a win, but we've got to be slightly concerned with the defensive side of the game today, both centre halves, I think, probably turned in their worst performances that we've seen for the club. Yeah, um, yeah. I think, like I said, I think a lot of players they, they was too comfortable out there. I think Liberty started to be taken near the end. So Dino and Craig didn't have the um, the greatest of games, but the, you know the plus points are we're not at our greatest. Some of the players wasn't at their greatest, and we've got a result, so we can only climb and get better from that. Okay. Next week we move on to the FA Vars. Got Cobham down here. Be another tough game. I think they're going to be a completely different proposition to the side that we played earlier in the season. Yeah. Um, do we envisage many changes to the squad for that one? Um, we'll see come training, but I wouldn't say many changes as much as the last cup game we played. As you know, the Vars is, is a quite important uh, cup for this club, so it will be taken very seriously. Um, I don't know. Again, training. We'll have to have a look at. We'll have to look at that one. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, Johnny. Thank you.